So far, the season going great. 20 and 5. Can't have a better season. First round states. It's going to be hard. Got a window. Everything is not given, Every, everything is earned, you know what I mean? So, coming in every day, practicing, you know, working hard, trying to get better every day, coming to these games, not taking any game for granted, you know? We want to come in and um, win. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the Crusaders of Elmwood Park High School. I've been saying since freshman year that I wanted to go to the state final, and I said this whole team's going to the state final, we're all going to win it. It means everything to me. We all had to come together at one point and just lock in. You know, that's what we do. We win here. We don't lose. And we're just going to keep it going. Sam is a very tough, physical, two-way player. Very skilled, very good footwork. Defensively, um, he reminds me of myself in high school. Even before I even get the film, he's texting me who he wants to guard. He is almost a little fearful coming into the game because you have such high expectations for yourself. You don't want to let your team and yourself down. Dwayne Carter is definitely the X factor and the heart and soul of our team. As Dwayne goes, we usually pretty much go. He, he guards pretty much the first, if not second, best player on the team, especially in our league win against Lodi. The guard who had 20 points previously, uh, I think he had two or three points. Honestly, the reason why we were so good this year is because the kids bought in defensively and I may have coached more athletic kids one to five, but I've never coached a group that bought into defense like this. And I think Dwayne was the main culprit in that for sure. David is a lightning fast, elite speed, dynamic playmaker. He has a very tough job. He is a score first guard and he has the talent to put up 20 a game, but he's also the point guard in the team. So he has to distinguish sometimes on a possession what's a good shot for him and what might be a better shot for his teammates. And I felt, especially for him, someone that's chasing a thousand points, I felt like kids maybe in his situation would be a little more selfish, start shooting a little more, start, start doing a little more things, and we really did not see that from him. He played through a pretty major rib injury that, that definitely um, altered his game. Um, and he, he had some big shots for us and some big moments. Uh, and it really showed me that it didn't really matter about the accolades. He just, he just really wanted to win. Alex played a huge part in, in the season for us. He is one of the most valuable players on the court. He excels in three sports at Elma Park. He was athlete of the week in football. He plays basketball and he's also playing baseball right now. So if Alex were had, had the ability to focus on one of the sports and play them all year round, I think he could play probably division two, probably in all of them, to be honest. In some of our biggest games, he had bigger games than some of the kids that put in more time than him. Ivan is a transfer from the Dominican Republic. He does not speak English. I actually didn't meet Ivan until late October, where I got a text from Assam, David, a couple of kids uh, saying, who is this you know, 6'4 kid from the Dominican Republic walking through our hallway? So I did some research. I asked all our secretaries. I met Ivan for the first time through a translator, but I could tell how he was just a really respectable kid. Honestly, we would not have been able to do anything of the magnitude this year without Ivan. He is the best big in our league. Uh, for a big man, he passes like a guard. You know, we are a very heavy guard-oriented lineup. Um, the kids don't realize this, uh, but he rebounds all their missed shots. Um, you know, and if he's not making them, he's passing them back out for extra possessions. His passing is superb. To be honest, he sees stuff before I do. On my scouts, 
I always had stuff for myself, certain keywords to say to him that he, he would know. Um, but obviously we played in some really loud games, so sometimes he heard it and sometimes he didn't. But Ivan was so smart. If you see him, I can kind of say things where to go and, and we would almost make hand gestures to each other. And I, I always say that basketball language is universal. And even though Ivan doesn't speak the language, he made it very easy on me to coach a kid like that. Eh, me siento feliz porque ganamos. Era una victoria importante y la pudimos lograr para poder pasar a un siguiente nivel. De República Dominicana. Eh, me mudé hace cinco meses y está aquí. Significa mucho porque es representar a mi familia, a mi país. Sí, eh, el coach, no sé, alguien bueno, una buena persona, es eh, valiente y siempre apoya a lo que se necesita. Si te hace falta algo, él te apoya. O si tú estás haciendo algo mal, él te ayuda. Es como parte de la familia y me trata como un hijo, en verdad. A donde me lleve, donde yo pueda llegar a lo más alto. Porque yo vine a una meta y fue llegar a lo más alto para poder ayudar a mi familia. Oh, it means a lot. It means a lot. That was our goal since freshman year. We all were freshmen at one point and we knew that us seniors, we will have the entire team for ourselves. Oh, we're trying to get to the next level, all of us, but it takes time, it takes preparation, it takes the mindset to get, come in the gym and get better every day. Looking to go out with a chip. Obviously, you got to have talent. You got to be able to put the ball in the basket for sure. It is strong, uh, but besides that, there have been plenty of teams that have been skilled and uh, didn't do the things we did this year. And I really think it really comes down to people being unselfish, uh, kids really getting along, and hard phrase, which the kids can attest, and I don't, know, I don't know if they think this is corny or not, but we always say enjoy the success of others like it's yourself. And I think they really bought into that over the last six to seven weeks of the season. And that will go right for the first time. In over 15 years, your Elmer Parker Senior will be in the sectional final. Give it up for your boys. Congratulations. Once we got on the bus, I, I said we gonna win. No matter, they good, they definitely good. They got size over us. You know, they got shoe machines, all that. But I knew we, 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 I would wanted to go in there and win. To be honest, I felt great. As soon as we got on the bus, I was ready to go. You know, from the like layup lines, you know, Duncan, you know, just being me, you know, I was ready to go since like the beginning of the season, so. I wasn't really nervous from never nervous, and I'm nervous in a lot of games, even if it's not really packed. It's always, you always got nerves, even playing against not really a good team, and that team is really good. It was a lot of their players, their fans talking, it didn't affect me. I never listened to the crowd. It was like quicksand. I've never been in it, but I know if you go down, you're just gonna keep going down. So I felt like every time we scored, we tried to get out, and we was almost about to get out. But if we didn't score, we went right back down. That's exactly how I felt. I felt good. As close as it, it kept getting closer and closer, I said, we got this one. 
it was confident throughout the whole game it felt like a normal game like it didn't feel like a stage game it felt like a regular game um but towards then after each stop you could tell it got closer and closer and you could just feel like it was, the game was almost done so it was like if you make a mistake like that's the game is on the line We came back. Not a lot of people get this, you know? It's high school, like, this is like your best moment. Why get this far and, you know, lose? And, you know, as a team, we came in, and as a player, we came in to win it, not to lose it. It's getting closer and closer to being over. Like, we gotta do something. Just had them finding moments. It was really over. What were your emotions like uh, immediately after the game? Uh, it, was, it was emotional. They beat us by five points. But, you know, tomorrow's in promise. So when we won against Glen Rock, you know, we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't think ahead. You know, so when you think about tomorrow, it isn't promise. When you think about going there next week, it's not promise. We we'll never touch basketball again. It definitely was a lot of emotions. I don't really cry and tears came out my eyes that day. Eso se siente increíble porque de, en mi país nunca pasó algo así y tenerlo aquí es una experiencia inolvidable. You know, it, it, it means a lot because you know not a lot of people expect Emerald Park to go this far. Not a lot of people expected Emerald Park to be in the state championship. You know, even like even to have the two seed. Nobody expected that, you know, winning 22 games, you know. Uh, it was tough, you know, seeing the end result, seeing the kids cry and kind of comfort each other. Um, but also it was really kind of great to see because a month, a month and a half ago, I don't think they would have consoled each other the same way. Um, I thought that they came together as a team with one another and um, even though the game didn't end the way we wanted to, I really felt it showed all the special things that made the last six or seven weeks uh, possible for the team.